Hey guys, so today is going to be my top 10 personal nail polish picks for the fall time. In the fall, I love muted like grays and purples and taupes and berry colors and just very fall like colors. So these are just my personal top 10 favorites. I hope that you like it. I did swatch all of them on my fingers and afterwards I think my fingers wanted to cry. They hurt pretty bad. I think like it's definitely worth it because I know for when I watch videos, I like to see nail polish on your nails rather than like a swatch wheel or something. So I like to try and do videos that I know is like something that I would like. So that's why I did it. So I hope that you like it. Thumbs up if you think it's beneficial to put the polish on your fingers. And I hope that you find a color or two that you like that you want to try out. And yeah, so let's get into it. So the first color is by Maybelline, the color show, and it's in impeccable grays, and it's just a beautiful, rich, dark gray color. It has slightly blue undertones to it, but it's just really, really dark and rich and perfect for fall, and it's one of my favorite grays. So I love gray nail polish. This is one of my favorites, least expensive, and the formula is really great. It took two coats in the swatch that you guys saw, and it's just one of my favorites. So this is my first favorite. Second favorite is No Spain No Gain by OPI. It's just a really pretty purple berry color. I feel like this is a great color for fall time because it's just a little bit darker than like the pinks and stuff we're used to in summertime and it's still not too dark. It still has like the brightness to it but it's just such a rich berry um, purpley pink color. It's just perfect and one of my all-time favorite OPI colors in general and just perfect for this time of year. So definitely check this one out if you like this kind of color. Okay, third favorite is by L'Oreal, and I am a new fan of these L'Oreal polishes. I don't know why I didn't try them sooner, but this is like one of my favorites that I've tried lately, and it's Eiffel for you, and it's the perfect nude for fall time, in my opinion, because I don't like to do too light of a nude in the fall time, like a pinky nude or like a tan skin tone nude. I love this kind of like taupey nude color. It has a little bit of a purple tone to it. You know, very just like I said, taupey purple nude. It's just dark enough to be, you know, nice for fall because I don't know, I just love dark nail polish for this time of the year. So in my opinion, this is the perfect, perfect, perfect nude if you want something a little bit more natural, but still in my opinion, very fall appropriate. Um, this is just an amazing, and the formula was awesome. It was two coats. Flawless. Totally recommend this color. A polish number four is by OPI and it is called I Saw, We Saw, You Saw, Warsaw. And it's just a nice navy blue, kind of like a royal blue, but cream. I love cream nail polishes in the fall time. I kind of go more towards a shimmery polish going into like late November, December. I just like to go with the trends of nail polish. It just makes it more exciting for me. But I love a nice dark, rich blue like this for fall time. It's just beautiful, very pretty on your nails, and it stands out against any skin tone. It's just so beautiful and so rich. And the formula is amazing. It took two coats. Highly recommend this color as well. One of my favorites by OPI. My fifth favorite is by Revlon. It is one of their newer shades. It's called Rich. I know I just said I like creamier polishes in the fall time, but if I'm going to do anything shimmery, rather than like a shimmery color, I'll, I like to go straight for like a metallic finish. I feel like it just kind of pops more and it's more like season appropriate. Anyway, this color is beautiful. It kind of has like a gold and a silver undertone mixed with like a really pretty like green. It's just really hard to describe and when you look at the bottle close up it's just like it's just filled with micro glitters and the formula is really really great I did two coats totally opaque and it's just very unique the color is beautiful I'm not sure if it's limited edition I know it's a new color but I don't know if that means it's gonna go away eventually but definitely recommend this color by Revlon my favorite fall color number six I've actually already talked about this in a favorites video a couple months back it's by Essie and it's called smoke and hot and it's just a really pretty dark I wouldn't really call it a gray, I would call it like a super dark purpley taupe, if that is even a color, um, but it's just really nice, the formula is great, two coats is all it took, and it's just really, really pretty and so perfect for fall. Compared to the Maybelline Impeccable Grays, which was the first color that I showed you, you can see that it definitely has more of a purpley undertone, and the Impeccable Grays has more of like a blue undertone. Um, so it's just really, really pretty. If you like gray, purpley-ish, taupey nails, this color is just amazing. And it's not limited edition. I know when I mentioned it in the favorites, I wasn't sure if it was, and you guys let me know that it wasn't. So you can get this um, wherever you buy your Essie polishes. Okay, polish number seven. This is one of my favorites of all time. I think I mentioned it 
um, over a year ago last fall and then I remember like all my friends purchased it and it's just the prettiest color. It's by OPI and it's called Mrs. O'Leary's Barbecue and it's just the perfect burgundy color and what color sums up fall more than burgundy? It's just so pretty. It took two coats in the swatch. It's just a rich burgundy red color. I definitely love the name too because it's kind of like reminds you like you're wearing barbecue sauce on your fingers or something. It's just the prettiest color. One of my favorites that I'm showing you today and if you don't already own this you need to purchase it. Like you just you need to. Polish number eight is by OPI and I don't know the name by heart. I don't give a Rotterdam. That is what it's called. I love this color because it's a little bit of a lighter taupey gray kind of color. Almost like a little bit of a lilac but definitely more of a gray. But what makes it totally unique and totally different from all the other colors that I've showed you is that it has like a golden shimmer in it so it's just so pretty it's like kind of like a light blue pur purpley taupe with a golden shimmer undertone it's a very unique color I've never seen anything else quite like it the formula took three coats so out of all of the polishes that I showed you or that I'm showing you in the video this is the only one that I did three coats all of the rest were um, two coats so it was a little bit of a thinner formula but I think three coats is okay because it is so unique and it is so pretty and compared to the other kind of like taupey gray colors that I showed you, as you can see, it's totally different and definitely unique. Okay, so the ninth color that I have to show you is by Maybelline Color Show, and it's a limited edition color. The color is called Vintage Vintage Violet, and it's different than all of the rest because it actually has a different uh, formula. It's the Vintage Leather Formula by Maybelline. Basically, it's kind of like a matte nail polish because... I guess it's supposed to make your nails look like leather or something, um, but it has these really wide flaky glitters in it. They're not necessarily a sparkly glitter. They're just very wide and flat and it gives you more of a, like that leathery feel. It's different from a typical matte nail polish because it doesn't dry completely matte. It's almost like a jelly matte finish. It's definitely a little bit different than regular matte nail polishes and I feel like this is something super trendy like Rihanna or the uh, Jenners would wear like Kendall Kylie Jenner. It's just one of those like edgy nail polishes that I think is a little bit different. Probably not for everybody but still really really cool. Definitely check it out and it is limited edition so I like this one a lot. It's a little bit different. The color is really pretty and rich and purple and I just like this one. Okay, last but not least, I Instagrammed a video of this. I wore this in my last video. I wore it in this video because I filmed these videos on the same day, these last two videos. As you can tell because I'm wearing the same outfit. Um, but it is like my all-time favorite from all of the colors that I'm showing you. It's just, it's glittery, it's gold and black and perfect for fall time. It's by China Glaze and it's called Bat My Eyes. It's from their Halloween collection so it is limited edition and it only took two coats. So this is a densely packed glitter. Two coats and you get complete opacity. So the only downside to this might be the formula. It's a really good coverage but it's also super thick and I know some people don't like super thick uh, polishes. Kind of, It can kind of get gloopy especially I'm imagining like in a couple months time the more I use this the more the air gets in the bottle I feel like it's gonna get even extra thick so that would be the only downside but I feel like it's just so pretty it's almost like a black golden like just an autumn fall kind of glitter I love it so much and I feel like it's so unique and it's so beautiful and yeah I just I love this color so this is my 10th fall nail polish pick. I hope that you like it. I hope that you like all 10 of the colors that I picked for you guys today. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. I will write the names and the colors of all 10 of the polishes in the description box if you want to check any of them out. If you have a favorite fall nail polish color that I didn't mention, obviously you probably do. Um, okay, I need to breathe. Let me know in the comments down below so that I can check it out. So I hope that you liked it and give the video a thumbs up if you want to see a winter edition kind of similar to this but winter colors because I have a totally different nail polish spectrum when I think about like my favorite winter polishes rather than like fall. So let me know if you'd like to see that and hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you guys very very soon.